was coming home outfits. But my dad actually found a blanket. A couple of different ones of these. Oh, it feels so nice to be back. But look, mummy with a little heart. Although they are from Primark and I know they're gonna get ruined. Just in case, I know I'm gonna be one of these people that is gonna be so unglam. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're just joining me now, then hi, my name's Imogen. Thank you so much for finding me. I don't know how you found me, but please definitely stay. Little bit of a different setup today, different backdrop. I am actually at my dad's, currently living here because we're renovating our whole house while I'm 35 weeks pregnant. Whoop, whoop, whoop. No complaints, just explaining. I'm actually in my first ever bedroom that I lived in in this house, which is absolutely ludicrous and could potentially make me emotional that I'm sat here filming a video about packing my baby's hospital bag, about giving birth in the first ever bedroom I stayed in, being married, it's honestly like the biggest circle ever and just feels incredible. If you can hear the rain as well, it's actually an attic room. Thank God we've got dads. So I've got loads of bits here. I've got my hospital bag. I'm gonna be packing my hospital bag, baby's hospital bag, and I'm gonna be telling you what I'm gonna be putting in Spencer's bag, my husband, so the daddy bag as well. So today, if you wanna pack your hospital bag with me or just see what I've got, because I've got some really cute bits, and maybe you're just a bit nosy like me because I love watching these videos, then definitely stay tuned and keep watching, and let's get in with packing my hospital bag and my baby's hospital bag. Oh yeah, I should probably give you a little bump update as well. 35 weeks, she's looking gorgeous. She's an angel. She's very, very sweet for mummy. And she's probably gonna move loads and I'm gonna probably get really out of breath because that's just a standard over here on this channel at the moment. <laughs> so angels, what I want to begin with is, I've got everything right here in front of me. I wanted to show you that I bought these. They're really big. So they fit bigger items, but not the smaller items like vests. So I bought these from Amazon. They're just really good because you can draw string them up and they're massive so you want to have everything in them if you want to have you know muslins or if you want to have lots of different things so many things fit in these ones however I actually went and bought smaller ones like this and my friend has a label making machine so I just got her to make me little labels for the things that we need so it says shower and these ones are just really cute there's different size ones so there's small ones there's average ones there's little different ones and you can also put a little string through them if you want to hold them somewhere I'm not really sure about that little situation. Maybe it's for the breathing. I'm not really sure about why they've got holes in, but they've got different size ones. They've got rectangular ones, little ones like that, square, larger ones, and then even bigger ones. Oh my God, they're really good, aren't they? What I'm gonna be doing is, I have put quite a couple of things in different bits, but what I'm gonna start with is my bag. So we'll start with what I'm gonna be packing, what I'm gonna be taking. I've got a little list, which I'll put next to me here. I just got it from Pinterest because I was like, oh, I think that's best, but then also some of the Pinterest ones are missing things that other ones mentioned. So I've kind of just combined lists together. There are a couple of things that I need to still get, but I'm just gonna put everything in bags and then Spencer's probably gonna pack it because he's the uh, he's the more organized one out of the two of us, as you can probably tell. So <laughs> I'm gonna do my bag first. So for me, I've got this lovely, light, very lightweight, gorgeous suitcase. This is actually from something a little different. I'm gonna be packing my hospital bag in this because I feel like I'm gonna probably be taking the most because her little clothes and her little bits are actually really small. Although, if we overflow, we're just gonna take another bag, but I'm trying to keep it down to a minimum, but I'm just gonna be packing this one. So we start with day wear. I've got a day wear bag, this lovely little drawstring bag. And in this bag, I just got lots of night gowns and lots of different pajama bits. So, hear me out, I need to get a dark shirt. So I've got too many light ones, although they are from Primark and I know they're gonna get ruined. Um, so I'm not really thinking too much about keeping them or anything like that, because I know they're gonna get covered, but I would like a couple of dark ones as well. So I got this little nightgown, which is so cute from Primark, just because I thought it was nice, maybe afterwards if I've got to stay in. Not because it's sexy or anything like that, but it's lightweight and it's soft. And basically, someone said to me, make sure you pack things which are your scent or your comfort or your specific type of clothing that you like and this is the softness that I like and that makes me feel like home so that's a really positive one. An oversized nightgown from Primark. Again this one is organic cotton and it's just so soft it's just really light though that's the only problem so I am gonna be getting some darker ones I promise. I got them all in a large because I want everything oversized, easy to get down, do whatever I've got to do. 
And then I got, obviously, <laughs> a light pink one. So I need to get maybe a blue and a black. That's what I'm going to get. I'm just going to order that from Pretty Little Thing, probably. And um, they didn't have any dark ones in Primark at the time. But this is, like, the softest cotton ever. And I feel like when I'm when I'm cosy, I'm the happiest. And if I'm too hot, then I'm going to take another nighty. But I hate being cold. That's my worst fear. So I'd rather be warmer than colder you know what i mean so i just need to pack a couple of more bits in that one so i've labeled that as day wear i don't really know why i don't really know why i've labeled that as day wear oh it feels so nice to be packing the hospital bag everything at the moment is in storage so for me this is like something which i feel like i'm actually doing do you know what i mean everything at the moment i feel like i haven't got anything for her i haven't got anything out this feels like i'm doing something so then we have night wear i feel like days and nights are going to merge into one also Hear me out. You may correct me. I may be very wrong, but I would rather overpack than underpack. And that's probably really wrong. Everyone's like, you don't need that. You won't need that. You won't need that. Fair enough. But I know what I'm like. I'd rather worry that I've taken too much than worry that I've taken too little, if you know what I mean. Also, open to suggestions. If there's anything you think that I'm missing, holler at your baby princess, DM me on Instagram, YouTube comments, let me know. I'm open to suggestions. Nightwear is more like cozy and comfy. Look at these trousers from Primark. They are so nice and so comfy. I actually got them from London Primark. They are a size small, 10 to 12, but they actually, they're the parenthood range. So the maternity trousers. And I just thought, look at that big bump bit. It's really nice. It's just going to be cozy. It's going to be nice for me to be able to just relax in something cozy and comfy. And then I also got these two, which is a little set. This could be for afterbirth, you know, it's just a two piece, which is from Primark again. We love Primark, don't we? Look, it's got a lovely little wrap around. Very easy for nursing if that's what happens and whatever. But look, it's really, really, really nice. And again, so ridiculously soft. You couldn't even cope. You couldn't even cope. And then I've got the matching trousers. This is from the Parenthood range as well. And I just like the fact they're like harem trousers. They're comfy. I can go home in these. You know, they're really soft. And this is just a little bit thicker if I'm a bit colder. Because sometimes in hospital, the air con is so intense. Your lips crack you get so cold. I mean, I've got no idea of what I'm going into. I have no idea of what to expect. I'm going in with a very open mind. I'm just going to go in and go for it and see what, where it takes me, you know, but I just rather prepare bits and it's the most prepared I've ever been for anything in my life. Anyway. Okay. So that's nightwear. So nightwear can go away. I will link these little bits down below, by the way, if you want the bags and stuff in case that's something of interest. Then we have feeding and breast pads. I also need to pack a, apparently you have to take to hospital, correct me if I'm wrong, but apparently you have to take um, a ready-made formula as well. If I'm wrong, then just let me know. I'm probably wrong. But I was told, I thought that you have to take in like a ready-made formula for babies. So yeah, I've got nursing bras, which I actually got from Bravado. Go on then, look at this one, wow. I think I got it too small around the back. My back's definitely got broader. No complaints here. Got another one in cream. And then I got these washable breast pads as well. Washable breast pads. Apparently they're very good. But then I also got two packs of disposable ones. I love how I got two packs. I think I only need to take one pack. I definitely only need to take one pack. But I'm going to take two anyway. In case there's other women, you know, that need them. There you go. I'll be with them. I just think it's handy to have more. And I don't know how much I'm going to leak or how little I'm going to. So, you know, anyway. I got the lanolin. This is apparently meant to be amazing. The nipple cream. This is meant to be the dream to help soothe and protect sore cracked nipples and dry skin. Safe for mum and baby, no need to remove before breastfeeding. So that's brilliant. I've heard very, very positive things about that one. So angels, just some extra bits that I'm packing. So I've got some black, big Bridget Jones underwear in a large, love them. So comfy from Primark, five pounds. I then got these ones, which are just, they're not high waisted. Cause I thought when I'm walking around the hospital, maybe it'd be easier to just be in ones like this, you know, underneath my nightshirt. So these ones were three pounds and I got them in an extra large and I also got them in a large because I was like, I didn't know which one I'd really need. I also got some face cloths, which are obviously just from Primark and those ones were pound 30, how random. And then I got an extra large black towel just because that was five pound 50. And also I just want to take a black towel into hospital so I think it'd be easier. I got these, which are three pack of seam free wireless gorgeous bras they're not nursing bras but they'll be easy to bring down or whatever got them in an extra large don't know if that's going to be too big but got them in a size extra large and they're 10 pounds so yeah i need to get a couple more 
bras but i think these will be really comfy to just wear under my nightgown i also need to get some more of these but i got some clips and some hair bands i'm gonna get the other ones as well you know the ones that just bubbles but i just got those as well to pack so this is all little bits just extra bits i got from primark which i just thought were brilliant we've got obviously some little disposable gorgeous sliders i know you're jealous make me feel like i'm in a hotel though i'll take that any day of the week so i'll just pop them in there oh for shower i went and bought these from the primark men's section oh sorry these for the private men's session i tried on the women's ones and oh my god my feet are so wide like i've always had wide feet i've had a size six but wide feet love new look wide loved new look wide okay so i got these ones i think they were like three pounds or four pounds but these are in case i go in the shower apparently it's nice to just have flip-flops for the shower so they can get in there speaking of shower our own little shower bag here and inside is a bikini so if i go in the birthing pool that'd be amazing that's the dream but you know you don't know what goes and what happens but i've got a bikini from primark just bought that one this came in the bag from something a little different and it is actually a gorgeous robe and it says mummy look it says mummy on it i don't want to open it because they fold it so nicely but look mummy with a little heart oh don't set me off won't it absolutely set me off unfolded this and spencer folded it so nicely to go in the back and then i've got sanitary so this is knickers and pads the only one thing that i am missing is some disposable knickers from asda lots of people were suggesting getting those like big nappies basically for afterbirth and you know just to keep you going because apparently the leaks are just continuous and that's absolutely fine we'll take it yeah so incontinence knickers that's what we're saying so in here i got quite a few things in this one so i will show you so i've got some night pads which you guys said won't be enough so that's absolutely fine we're just packing them just anyway i've still got to get the other ones then i got this one from expert midwife which is meant to be amazing this is the spritz for bits um instant relief apparently it's meant to be uncre uncredible unreal and incredible uncredible there you go i also got from freedom mum i got the perineal cooling pad liners i got these ones from boots these are apparently meant to be so nice so they have a five step regime on the back and i think i've got four out of five so i got to cleanse with this one which is the upside down peri bottle so this is to clean down there which i'm sure spencer will be doing afterwards because i will just be loving life and he can do that so this is a little perineal bottle to cleanse down there love it wear disposable postpartum underwear which i've got in here these are the disposable postpartum underwear which is basically the incontinence snickers that i was going to get from asda so i guess i kind of have these that's a positive but i will get some more big ones you know go for it imogen and then step three is chill and absorb rapid relief cold pads which i do have which i need to put away then soothe with the perineal cooling pad liners and then relieve with perineal witch hazel foam which i do actually have from my expert midwife so i didn't get it from frida mom i have it from my expert midwife but that's actually in the car and spencer's taken the car there's loads of bits which i was like i need to pack but it's fine spencer's gonna go through all of this and pack it all anyway so that's absolutely brilliant so we'll pack this one that is sanitary knickers and pads i am yet to do this one this is my home time outfit so i need to find a nice outfit which i want to come home in obviously i could come home in those harem trousers i'm thinking of just coming home in something ridiculously comfortable oversized baggy whatever you know a big joggers things like that so waiting for some bits to come in not giving anything away but yeah waiting for some bits to come in so i will pack that one as well but i need the bigger ones for these ones because this is a it's going to be a tracksuit, so it needs to be a bigger bag and i love these little bags i think they're shoe bags so then we move on to packing toiletries this is actually from kcj i absolutely love this bag hello gorgeous love that so toiletry wise i've got a flannel i've got a wild deodorant in here all natural and lovely for baby girl hair conditioner i've got i've got a couple of hair conditioners and shampoos lano lips because apparently your lips get so dry in hospital apparently they are like cracking constantly from the air con and lano lips lovely they just crack all the time need to get some more of these some round cotton pads i have got these ones but i'm not sure whether are they the right ones yeah they're the right ones we'll pack those i also got this which i'm so excited about i love this spray i cannot rave about this spray enough this is the liquid yoga space spray and this has got lavender but it's also got something else in it um it's got lots of different essential oils but oh my goodness taking this into hospital with me is going to be the best thing because it makes me feel so calm it makes me feel like i'm at home because me and spencer spray on our pillow every single night obviously i got another conditioner and a shampoo and i also got 
this, um, the Boots Head Calm Stick, just in case I've got, you know, I need to be cooled down or anything like that. This is just going to really help me um, because it'll just give me a little bit of relief on my forehead if I've got a headache. So I got the Invisible Dry Little Deodorant as well here. This is the cooling spray as well. I've got the Max White um, little toothpaste and some lemon original sauce shower gel. Also, I do actually have a fan, a nice cooling fan, just a chargeable one, which again is in the car, but I'm going to pack that in my toiletries. It was going to go in Spencer's bag with all the electronics, but I feel like I should just have it in my toiletries because it'll be good. If I'm getting really hot, Spencer can fan me. Love life. Then also, angels, for my makeup, I'm going to pack this one. This is the pixie bag. I'm obviously probably not going to wear makeup at all but maybe i'll put a bit of face tan in there if i want to have a little golden glow if i've got any time listen i'm going in with the fact that i know i'm probably gonna have zero time to even or i'm gonna be in so much pain i don't want to do you know what i mean but there's a makeup bag there for just like, maybe like a tinted moisturizer if and when i know a lot of people are gonna laugh i'm only saying and taking just in case just in case i know i'm gonna be one of these people that is gonna be so unglam which i don't care about as long as she's healthy and happy and we're loving life i really don't care what i look like couldn't give a shite but taking some makeup just in case yeah, i'll be taking my bb hug me pillow as well my gorge this is my pillow this is the pillow that makes me sleep at night it is just so comfy and also you can wrap it around you for anything you know nursing and stuff like that i'm also i've been told take your own pillow from home so i'm going to take my own pillow from home which we'll just chuck in the car as and when we're leaving so the bits i need to order are some essential oils because i've got a diffuser that's going in spencer's bag the diffuser will have essential oils so i'm thinking of taking lavender clary sage lots of different ones i've got it written down what's good for labor i'm going to take some face wipes just for my cooling for my face and some micellar water i'm just gonna take bits like that that just are nice to have and i'm just gonna take bits like that to just cleanse my face because i know that a lot of people have said taking your skincare has been such a nice thing for you to just be able to do look after your skin and just you know if you've got time it's nice to just just do and make yourself feel like you're in a little spa but you're not definitely not <laughs> and toothpaste and i will probably take my electrical toothbrush though but i will probably take my own one from home you know my electric one okay let's pack baby girl's bag <laughs> I also forgot to mention I'm going to take some foam earplugs and I also have one of those night masks. The only thing I'm worrying about is this. Don't I need to be able to hear her? Isn't that like the biggest priority? Do you know what I mean? But these are nice, but in case you're on a noisy ward, etc. But my baby's probably going to be the noisy one. <laughs> Actually, I say that. She's probably going to be so chilled like her dad. She is probably going to be so chilled like her dad. But I've got those and I've also got a sleep mask just in case it's really bright, etc. Not that I'm going to get much sleep, but we're just going to... I'm just gonna say we are so this is my little girl's beautiful hospital bag it says mummy let the adventure begin it's got a lovely little bit at the bottom this is again from something a little different it's got some bag pockets at the front and the back and then inside it's also got another little compartment and a little compartment in there so it's really really nice so in this bag i'm going to be putting the sleep suits so so i've got a couple of different sizes just plain white ones at the moment so i've got tiny baby and i've got newborn and i've got naught three months and i've got a couple of different ones of these so these are just the plain white ones and then i've got other ones which are a bit patterned zip ones because i feel like zips are so easy but yeah i'm taking roughly a couple because in case she's you know tiny in case she's standard newborn size i mean i don't know what newborn standard size is but you know what i mean what they go by or not three months in case she's a larger baby so i'm just to be packing those in the sleep suits bag but i'm taking uh, varying different ones these are just the white ones the other ones are just in the wash at the moment yeah so exciting i washed it all with obviously ecova make sure i had nothing in it so that's all perfect so i'll pack these ones what i'm probably going to do with these is have a couple of ones so i'm going to have a tiny baby bag newborn vests and newborn sleep suits and then zero to three months vests and sleep suits just so it kind of varies it and I get an option of having different ones and that way I can just get Spencer to get them out of the bag and they're all sorted out anyway look at this gorgeous one I got from John Lewis it's so gorgeous look at it I love the little top but um all of the sleep suits that I've got I've got built-in mitts scratch mitts so that's really positive because apparently that's a really big plus this is another cute outfit as well this is zero to one month this might be a little bit big but it all matches look at it it's so cute so it's got the little hedgehog in there you've got the little hat you've got the booties here and then you've got the little leggings as well because she you'll need socks with this one but i'm obsessed look at this so sweet spencer really wanted something with born 2021 so i thought it was nice to have a little set then on to the amazing nappies and wipes section so 
We do not need that many. I was gonna take that many, but we do not need that many. But I know she will do lots of poos, but we don't need that many. I think there's like 22 in a pack. Um, so these are from Pura. These are the newborn size, size one, um, four to 14 pounds. And then I also got an extra large. Why did I need that big? But it's fine, because I'm gonna be using quite a lot of it, I'm sure. Um, I got the Bepanthan, Bepanthan, yeah. Bepanthan Nappy Care ointment. And then I got wipes lovely water wipes these are from pura again i'm also going to take some cotton wool just to use water and cotton wool but i've got water wipes and i've got these from eco by natey these are the disposable bags i'm pretty sure you probably don't need those but i'm gonna take them anyway so they can all go in the nappies and wipes bag there you go <laughs> so then we've got vests again i've got a range of different sizes i've got tiny baby as well as newborn and also not three months i've got a couple of these again more in the wash but these are just going to go in here but apparently you can never take too many vests so i've got one two three four five six i think i've got nine <laughs> then we've also got socks hats and scratch mix mitts to go in this one so i've got these little scratch mitts this hat i've got different sizes of hats this lovely little gorgeous hat and then i've also got this one which says i love my mummy and this one which says oh i see i love my daddy one okay well i'm gonna find the i love my daddy one i'm not gonna take that one until i found the i love my daddy one but i've just got loads of different sizes of hats i just need to get a couple of socks which i'm struggling to find so if anyone can suggest where i should get some newborn socks from holler at your girl then we have this one which i'm absolutely obsessed with i got such nice swaddles and muslins i've taken a lot of muslins because apparently you can never take too many muslins and i've also got a couple of these which are the love to dream easy swaddles i don't think i'll be swaddling her like this in hospital but i'm just going to take one just in case i know that you just swaddle with your swaddles and your muslin blankets your muslin swaddles but i'm just going to take one just in case and this one is for newborn so it basically is just they're really cool they basically just swaddle the baby for you, basically. So I've got loads of muslins, white ones. Then I've got loads of cream muslins. And then I've got beautiful, gorgeous muslin swaddles. They are such... I'm obsessed. Look at them. Oh my God, they're so, so, so nice. And I've got this one as well, which I think is gorgeous as well. Even though they're going to get covered, they're going to get so covered. But for her to swaddle in, I've got muslins for her to be sick, etc. And, you know, burp on mummy. But then I've got nice swaddle blankets, but... Sure, we'll all get covered, so will I. I was joking the other day about how I had an eyelash attached to me. <laughs> that I hadn't, obviously, I, I don't know where it'd come from. I just have eyelashes all the time, you know, like the fake eyelashes strips, they're just on me. And then I had um, chocolate stain and I thought, this, is, this isn't this is even the half of it. I'm gonna be absolutely covered. I love it. <laughs> I'm actually very excited. I need to show you this. So this one is the blankets. So I've got a couple of different blankets, mainly just, um, what are they called? Oh, oh no. What blankets are they? It's completely gone from my mind. I'm gonna actually have to look it up, angels. This is what happens. Blankets for babies with holes in. Goodness for Google. Cellular. I got a couple of cellular blankets. I have one more other blanket to pack, but I got them from George Asda. And then I've got this gorgeous, can you see it? Gray one, which is really soft with stars on, which is so nice and so affordable from George Asda. So that's going in that, however, I need to tell you something which is just like, yeah, it's gonna make me cry, but it's just so, I I'm so happy I get to share this with you. So I don't have many things from my childhood. Um, my mum and dad, obviously dad needs to look in the attic and dad also needs to look in the garage, but that's for another day. But I know that I'm gonna keep loads of different things for her for when she grows up, because I think it's so nice to keep things for your children when they grow up so that they can see it or pass it down to their children. But the first ever baby that I ever held was Hugo and I was 11 years old when he was born. And I still remember the exact day that I went to go get him from the hospital. My dad, I was meant to be playing um, girls football. My dad arrived at school, da da da, da etc. He arrived actually at 11 something. And then after school, my, my teacher, Mr. Butler was like, you're not coming to girls football. I was like, my little brother's been born. We went to pick up Jacob. Jacob was meant to be playing tennis. We went to the hospital. Jacob got to hold him first because he was the older sibling, which is completely fair. And I held him and I've never felt, at that time, never felt love like it. And it was like, just amazing sorry um but my dad actually found a blanket of hugo's that was like the blanket it was hugo's blanket like he was absolutely this is what he would go to sleep in every night and it's blue so it's <laughs> you know so he's got a little dog on it and it's like that on the other side um but my dad washed it and my dad gave it to me and said i have this for baby girl so it's gonna be so nice to be able to say to her like this is what your uncle this is the first baby I held and this is my baby I'm holding now with the blanket. So 
yes no more emotions <laughs> I can't promise anything. Jesus, Louis. My older brother, he always buys us cuddly toys and this is going to be Baby Girl's first ever jelly cat. He loves jelly cats. I've got to take the label off. But this one is called I Am Floral Lottie Bunny. So cute, Lottie. So cute. So he got this for Baby Girl as her first little present and her first cuddly toy. So I'm hoping that she loves it because she can keep it forever, can't she? And your uncle gave you that. So I'm gonna be bringing this home with her. So now it's time for Baby Girl's home time. So this was actually knitted by a subscriber for me and I just think it's so perfect. It's a knitted blanket and on the back it says Baby H, Baby Horton. It's just so perfect. So she's gonna be coming home in that. Also, by the way, I've been watching the folding lady on how to fold things um, to make them like smaller, but I'll show you what I think I've been doing. I'll show you when a baby grow. So obviously I have a hat, but this is Baby Girl's coming home outfit. So she has a matching pink blanket with the angel wings and angel wings on her gorgeous pink. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> I just love it so much. So this is her coming home outfit. It is so old fashioned and so cute and I'm just obsessed with it. So this is how I've been wrapping them. So I've been putting them one like that, one like that, then folding up the legs like so, and then just rolling over like that, protecting the little wings, and then folding down and in, and then it makes them really tight and neat. So yeah. Spencer's bag, we're taking a disposable camera, not a disposable camera, a Polaroid camera, which is really cute, and I love using this one, so we're gonna be taking that. I need to turn it off, actually. And I also need to charge it and make sure we take a charger. We're gonna be taking my vlog camera, obviously, in case just we want to film it. Um, we definitely want to film it. So we're taking that and also taking like a small tripod um, and a charger. We're also gonna be taking these. I got these from Amazon, a USB cable, and there's three of them, and they're just extra long. Um, so I think they're three meters, which is amazing. So apparently you need extra long ones in there. We're also gonna be taking these. We've got two sets of them. So these are the flameless candles just to create like a nice atmosphere in there. Um, we just need to take some batteries. They've already got batteries in them, but yeah, we've got two packs of these. So Spencer can put them around and just make me feel comfortable and relaxed with low level lighting. So I need to print off my birth plan, which I will do downstairs with my dad on his printer. We've got my hospital notes, which are fine, which obviously we'll pack closer to the time. And then I've obviously got my diffuser with the plug. Spencer's gonna be taking this. Spencer's just gonna be taking the electrical bits. So he's gonna be taking you know all of the bits that are the necessities also we haven't forgot a massive bag for snacks and drinks so that's something that's going in Spencer's bag as well Spencer's gonna be packing all the snacks and drinks for me because apparently you need all the snacks and drinks you can get um, an iPad and obviously chargers extra camera batteries Spencer needs to take change for parking I know that he needs to take um, a spare change of clothes etc so some flip-flops he's got some crocs he's gonna take so yeah it's all looking brilliant. So that, my angels, is me packing my hospital bag and my little baby's hospital bag, and Spencer's gonna be packing his hospital bag. I've got to get some dummies. I need your help with that, actually. I need to get some dummies, and I don't know which dummies. Obviously, she might not use them, and that's absolutely fine, but I think I should have some just in case. So I don't know which dummies to use, so let me know. I will be asking Instagram, so fingers crossed you guys can come through on there. I've got a couple of more bits to pack, like just makeup bits, but yeah. I know that probably wasn't the best packing of hospital bag, but fingers crossed you like everything I got, and fingers crossed I've packed the majority of the bits I need. So yeah, definitely let me know if I'm missing anything, and I will see you on Tuesday for another renovation vlog, and then the following Saturday will be another video which isn't related to renovations. I love you guys so much. Until next time, I'm going to love you, and I'm going to leave you. Bye!